Welcome to the food travel shopping channel. Today I am going to prepare a uh, pizza and pizza pie. Uh, it's a deep dish pizza that I'm going to prepare and I'm gonna actually going to do the dough first. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we will have a weekly post of either food or things that talks about traveling or shopping experience that we have. So today I'm doing the pizza pie and I'm actually gonna use a pie pan here to do my pizza. So it will be a deep dish pizza. So here we're gonna do the <clears throat> dough first. And if you have a bread machine, you can definitely use the bread machine to help you do the dough. So I have one cup of room temperature water and we're gonna put that in first and make sure you put follow the order in which you are putting these things into the ingredients into the bread machine and I'm gonna do one teaspoon of honey okay, so we're gonna do one and a half teaspoon of salt and I'm actually using the Himalayan salt here. The one and a half tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I'm doing two and two thirds of a cup of bread flour here. So I usually use the back of the knife to kind of help me with evening out the flour here with the measuring cup. And this is our first cup here. And then we want to get another cup here. Okay, so this recipe is great. You can definitely do it with your family, if you have kids, you know, do this with the kids. Um, not sure they enjoy doing the measuring, maybe they do. So you can incorporate them with the measuring here. And definitely the decoration part of the pizza. I'm sure the kids will enjoy that. So we're gonna get our Two thirds of the flour here. So that's one third, and here's the two third. Okay, half a cup. One tablespoon of the whole wheat flour here. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have a preference. Um, actually, all my flowers are organic. Um, so comment below if you prefer organic or the regular um, tablespoon here with the whole wheat flour. Okay, so now I can put this into the bread machine and it will do the bread dough, the pizza dough. Okay, so we're gonna do the pizza dough here. And here for this machine, um, it's gonna take an hour and a half to do. Okay, so I'm gonna press start and it's we're gonna get started with the kneeling here. 
once we take it out, we're gonna put it and roll it. Okay, we're gonna roll it, put it on a pizza pie, pie pan here, pie. Okay, um, and that will take another 30 minutes to let the dough rise once we put it in the shape of uh, the pan here with the pie. So, um, and I'm gonna come back an hour and a half later and take out the dough, and you can see how the dough will look like for the pizza dough, and we're gonna roll it, okay? So okay, so the dough is ready, so we're gonna take it back out. And let's take a look at our you want to preheat your oven for uh, 450 degrees okay so while we're doing the prepping uh, you want your oven to be preheated okay so I'm gonna add another layer of sauce and I'm actually going to add in some mozzarella in the middle who doesn't love cheese right you know um, I, wa I want my pizza to be very cheesy, so um, I'm going to add the mozzarella in between. So when you're going to cut it, I'm hoping, this is my first time doing it, so I'm really hoping that when I cut this pie, I will get the cheese effect and you pull it out and you're going to look really awesome with all these cheese. So I'm gonna, I think this is good. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe a little bit more, right? Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. You know. So. Can't, can't turn down the cheese. So I'm going to layer another um, sauce again. Okay. So saucy. So this is just my version of the deep dish pizza pie that I'm doing. So I might be doing this entirely wrong and I really don't care because it's my pizza pie. So I want it to be a pie looking thing. So I think that's good, another layer. Okay, now I have some um, pre-cooked sausages. Just wanna sprinkle some of them on there. So add a nice, Kind of uh, be, you know, uh, we're gonna be very we're gonna put a lot here, right? So I just wanna have my sausage meat on here. Okay, and with this layer, I'm actually gonna add some mushroom okay I'm gonna put in some mushroom here okay so this is gonna be a very filling pizza pie for sure okay I'm gonna layer it with a little bit more sauce and then I'm gonna do the top layer okay so I am gonna sauce this up so totally be generous with the sauce, be generous with the sausage meat and everything here and most importantly be generous with the cheese. So I am going to cheese this here completely and I can't believe I took, did not take enough cheese so I'm going to have to put 
put more cheese here. Okay. So I'm gonna add more cheese here until any more sauce. So you know how much cheese I'm gonna have here. Lots. Forget the calories, guys. If you want a pizza, you want good pizza, you don't talk about the C word. Okay, no C word here. Okay, get it all covered up. All right, so a little bit more, right? Doesn't hurt here and there, a little bit more, okay? I think we call covered up. Okay, so I'm gonna have some dress up the top here with some pepperoni. Let's put some pepperoni here. Okay. And you know, like I said earlier, you can definitely make this a very fun and family oriented. Uh, you know, when you're doing the pizza pie here. Okay, you can have your kids, okay, with you, and you can actually do the pizza. And I just wanted to make this a little bit look good. Some bell pepper, pretend that I'm healthy, you know? Gotta get in some vegetable somehow. Okay, so. Look at that, it's very colorful here. Look at the orange, guys, with the red. I'm gonna put some mushroom here, actually right here. And you can really design your own pizza pie however you want, whatever topping you want. Okay, this mushroom, I don't like this one. So, put some mushroom on there. So that would look really good. And we have tons of stuff. And I just want to put some sausage here up on top, squeeze that in. Okay. A little bit more artichoke here. All right, so we'll just do it that way. Okay, so that's my pizza pie. And we're gonna bake this for 25 minutes or until really the pizza edge here is gonna be um, golden brown, okay? So we might need to bake it a little bit longer. Who knows? We'll give it a try. This is my first time making it, but look how nice it is, all right? This is really nice. Okay, so I have a lot of sauce. The sauce is coming out. All right, now that I cut myself a slice, let's dig in and actually give it a try. So I was envisioning a little bit more layer, but of course because of the sauce is a little bit watery. So I think I can't, I mean I can see some of the layer on the side. The dough is really good. So it's really not bad for a bread machine, you know, dough. Um, next time I think, you know, because the sauce that I'm using, I think I would probably prefer making my own sauce so it's thicker. And then I would layer it again. But definitely if you zoom in here, you can see the layer that I was trying to get out of. So, but you, you have to eat it, I mean, this was meant to be a um, actual pizza pie, right? So like eating it like an apple pie and how you would eat like a pumpkin pie. So it's not like you can really hold the classic pizza up and then take a bite, which is fine. And that's what I was going for anyway. Um, so hopefully you guys like the video. If you enjoy watching my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm.